Mind you don't get fresh with... Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room, right this way. My father says we need to just get on with our lives, like it's that huh? easy. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. My master can... So, you're interested in my potions and ingredients. Until next time. I don't appreciate loiterers, if that's what you're here to do. God, watch over your back, friend. Working in Windhelm is great. I get to see Ulfric up close. Need some... Every... I respect Jorland, but he has the good fortune to work the Skyforge. Something about the fires. Their steel just holds tighter. Hermir's become a decent smith. The finest weapons and armor. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade, come see me. Hollyfrost farm outside the city. You need anything, come see me. It's honest work. I'm as resourceful as I am discreet. You lost? My sister and I once traveled the world to assemble our collection. Such adventures we had. My sister and I inherited a modest sum of money. We decided to travel and seek out whatever adventures we could find. As we journeyed across Tamriel, we encountered tales of exotic and wondrous artifacts. We decided to collect as many as we could. My sister passed away some years ago, so I settled down here and opened the House of Curiosities. I think she would be happy to know that our collection has brought smiles to faces both young and old. Indeed, I did. For a few septims, I'll tell you about some of the most interesting curiosities in my collection. Splendid! If you'll just follow me, I'll tell you tales and show you wonders such as you've never seen. These tools were found in a crypt outside Windhelm. 
They belong to the ancient Nords who dwelt in Skyrim before the days of the First Empire. Most scholars believe that the Nords of old used these implements to prepare their dead for burial. What macabre mysteries would these tools reveal if they could but speak? Here is the Book of Faith, discovered in a secret room in the Arcane University. The writing in the book describes the destiny of its reader, so the words change from one person to the next. Some see only blank pages, and nobody knows why. Perhaps some of us are born with no destiny, or maybe the blank pages signify an imminent death. Now here's an item out of legend. This is Istramor's soup spoon. Now I know what you're thinking. This is no spoon, it's a fork. Nobody can eat soup with a fork. Well, my friend, you did not know Istramor. Don't let this innocent looking flute fool you, for this is the dancer's pipe. Legend holds that the dancer's pipe has won wars, toppled empires, and changed the very course of history. None know its origins, but the stories say that men who hear its music are compelled to dance uncontrollably, no matter the peril. To activate this strange power, one must only speak the magic words, which are... <laughs> oh my, I very nearly got us both into a nasty predicament, didn't I? And with that, the tour is over. I thank you for your patronage, and I hope to see you again soon. Welcome to the House of Curiosities. I offer a brief tour for a few coins, or you can simply browse at your leisure. I'm still here. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Lead on then. Guys, traveler. Need a ride? <laughs> All right. I can take you. Where do you want to go? Carriage, it's the safest. Where do you want to go? <coughs> Climb and back, and we'll be off. <coughs> Little snow never stopped me. Don't worry.
Well, you're certainly no more than anyone else, I don't think. They're a very old order, predated the Imperial Mages Guild by quite a bit. In fact, the Mages Guild was founded in opposition to the idea of the Sigic Order, that only an elite few should have control over magic. No one has seen or heard from them in over a hundred years now, though. The exact nature of my research. You mean the official sort of business? Hmm. Well, no. No, not really. Until next time. I don't think anyone here truly understands how useful my work will be. When I've finished what I'm working on, everyone will understand its significance. If you have a moment, could you help me with something? We're all trying to become better mages, right? Well, I need someone I can practice a few spells on. Nothing dangerous, really. Would you be willing to assist me? Well, I... I simply thought you might wish to help out one of your fellow mages. If that's not enough, I suppose... I have this amulet you could take. No, not that kind of spell. Believe me when I say I wouldn't be asking if it weren't necessary. Oh, good. I was afraid I'd have to go ask Zargo. Now, you just stand there. Please hold still, and don't move. There! Now I... Oh dear. That wasn't supposed to happen. Do you... do you feel all right? You look very... um... green. I am so very sorry. I went over this again and again, and I was sure it would have better results. I'm not really sure. I think it's just a minor miscalculation on my part. I'm sure it will wear off soon. When it does, you'll be perfectly fine, and then we can try again. In the meantime, I'll see about figuring out what went wrong. So far, if only because no one is telling me how great I ought to be, I just want to learn. I don't want to think about what's expected of me. Didn't you know? Before the Oblivion Crisis, many elves called Winterhold their home. More visited the college from Morrowind every year. After, Growing distrust of magic made life difficult for many. Some left rather than endure the growing hatred from the local Nords. Others returned home after the Red Year, when Vardenfell erupted and caused much destruction. Winterhold itself died in the years between then and now. What's left out there is a husk. Only the college really remains. Until next time. I need your help with something. Something private. Yes, but it needs to be kept quiet. I may have entered into an agreement with Inther. He had something I needed, so I traded him something of mine. It was a mistake, and now I want back what I gave him. It's an amulet that belonged to my family, and I never should have given it to Inther. But he won't deal with me. Talk to him. See what it'll take to get my amulet back. Not at all. I consider it a blessing. My family was convinced coming here was a death sentence, or worse. It took years of insisting that this is what I'm meant to do. I told you it's for my family. I don't... I know they've always disapproved of what I wanted in life. To learn magic instead of becoming a farmer or a hunter. But no matter how poorly they may have treated me, they're still my family. I didn't consider that until after I made the trade. It doesn't matter. It's also none of your concern. Just talk to him. See if you can convince him to give my amulet back. Until next. Time.
give you a bit of advice. There are some experiments the college frowns on, if they're aware of them, of course. Purposely killing your fellow college members is a bad idea. I'd advise against it. Theft and assault can get you into trouble as well. As for research, well, a sufficient explanation will cover almost anything. If you're going to need live test subjects for your experiments, it's easier to do that off of college grounds. I hope you've got some coin. Well, let's just take a look then. Onmund is too afraid to deal with me himself, and so he sent you. I'll make this very simple for you. All my trades are final. Onmund knew this ahead of time and went through with it anyway. So there's nothing more to be said. Yes, you see, the thing is, I'm not concerned with everyone's best interest. I find I'm only concerned with my own. I've already made it very clear that all of my trades are final. No, no, you're not understanding this. Onmund made a deal. He made that choice, and now he has to live with it. I've already made it very... Look how persistent you are. Charming, really. Onmund gave up the first time I said no, but not you. All right. Tell you a little story. Let's pretend for a moment that a certain individual was looking to acquire a particular staff. Let's also pretend that he traded some valuable items for said staff. And it was only later that it was realized that this individual might misuse such a staff. The resulting disaster would reflect quite poorly on everyone involved. Are you following me? You're not very good at this, are you? Look, I traded a staff to someone and found out later that was a bad idea, so I'd like the staff back. Understand now? It's an entirely different situation. I don't expect you to comprehend the nuances of these matters. Regardless, I'm making you a very simple offer. You get me the staff, and I give you Onman's precious amulet. Do we have a deal? Yes. I thought we'd gotten past that bit already. Onman's amulet in exchange for my staff. Finally, we have an agreement. I look forward to having it back soon. The sooner the better, in fact. Mm hmm. It's lies, all of it. I don't care what she told you, it's all lies. For Alda, don't act like she didn't say anything. I know her, and I know what she's been up to. Don't trust that one. He's up to something. Most here are up to something, of course, but in his case, it's not good. I haven't figured it out yet, but I will. 
He is rather handsome, though, isn't he? My problem with her? She's the one who has a problem with me. She's threatened by me, by my skill as a wizard, by my elegance and posture, by my superior good looks. But she is not going to get the better of me. Oh no, I won't let it get to me one bit. That's what she's after. She's trying to undermine my confidence, make me doubt myself. Well, it won't work, I tell you. Until next time. Urag can be very helpful. Just don't antagonize him. It's no secret that the college's reputation in Skyrim is... tainted. Was hoping to find a uh, alchemist there. a lot warmer about half Let me know if you see anything you like. Thanks again. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Don't forget us if you need supplies for your journey. Uh, hmm? uh, sorry. Perfect. This is just what I needed. 
Here's some gold for your time. My experiments can't be completed until you've brought me those ingredients. Do hurry. I'm still here. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Been too long since. Welcome to the Pond Frog. Come on in, take a look around. Welcome. Take a look. Everything I've got on display, really. Safe travels, Landstrider. Fresh meats and produce. Get them Buying and them selling off. fine jewelry. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Have Return you missed any time. Come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel. He's teaching me all. 
What brings you to Balaman today? Repair? Purchase? Nothing like the smell. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Return any time. You're quite welcome here. Looking to stay alive? Things are much better now that Grellis is dead. But still, I'm sick of this place. I used to hate you want to hang but around But it's not so bad like anymore. This. Constance is hmm? real good to us. Need something? I'm strong. Congratulations. And, quick, and give I you hope any you chore you want. Wonderful life together. Come on. Adopt me, please. Hmm? Yes. Need something? Congratulations. I hope you have a wonderful life together. What do you need, my... Take a look. I have to remember... Ward first... Did we have an appointment? No. It was a delivery? I can't remember. What did you need? Ghost has been activated again, my friends. I gotta love the ghost. He just do that, you know, to uh, get attention, I guess. Welcome to the cozy little fam. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures.
Until next time. Hey, good to see you. You're gonna s just what you see here. Come back when you're ready to spend more gold. Goodness knows I could use it. Oh, it's you. Come to extort more from me? No, where was I? Was it the sightless pit? No, 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 off the content. 